Hey guys, welcome back. I have another favorites video for you guys today. I know you guys have really been liking these. I've been doing specific colors and today I'm going to talk about browns. Basically, they're my all time favorite browns. I really only wear browns in fall and winter. So these are pretty much just my favorite fall and winter browns and it's perfect right now. Thanksgiving is next week. So hopefully I got this up soon enough that you feel like you can wear brown in the fall before it gets too cold. But if not, you can stock up and wear it next year. And you can wear it as we get into winter too because I like to wear the deepest darkest browns in winter too. I'm hoping by the end of this video that I can convince a lot of you to wear brown polish if you haven't just because I feel like it's such a classy shade and it makes you feel so warm and cozy in the fall and if you haven't pick one up and just try it and let me know how you guys like it. I've heard from a few of you that I've converted you to wearing brown polish which makes me so happy because it's one of my favorite colors to wear which seems so crazy but I do feel like it's just like a classic shade. And then what I have my lips today, I think is still available. This is Back Talk from Urban Decay. Urban Decay are some of my favorite lipsticks. It's this beautiful nude that's kind of more pink leaning and I love it. I will talk about what's on my nails later as we get into this video because it's one of these polishes in here. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so I have quite a few here. I haven't even counted up the number and I just last minute added a few more. And so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna break down the comparison. So I don't think I'll be doing a talk through of the comparisons. I might a little bit be comparing them here and there as I describe each one, but I don't know how I'm going to break up those comparisons and usually I do a talk through. That will just be up with some music or something for you to enjoy, but let's get into the polishes. Let me count them quickly and see exactly how many I have. 15 polishes. That's a pretty good round number. I will be mentioning a few others most likely throughout this video, so get a piece of paper and pen. I do have all these polishes linked down below and I did find that they are all easy to find and most of them are available at Beyond Polish. So if you do shop there, use my code GOLARI10 and that will save you 10% on full priced items and it will help me out too. Okay, so let's get started and get into it because we got a lot to get through. I'm going to start out going lightest to darkest, which I typically do. And I'm going to start out with this one, which is kind of an interesting shade, but one of my favorites from last year. This was from the Essie Gel Couture Fall 2022 collection from a couple years ago and I fell in love with it. This is more of a mauve leaning brown, but I still consider a brown, but it does have this underlying very subtle silver shimmer in there which just gives it this nice little glow and I'll try to find an old video clip that I have of it in a store. It just adds a little bit of depth in certain lights and it's just so pretty and I think a lot of you picked it up when I talked about it. I think you need it you guys. It's one of my favorite polishes. It is kind of more of a nude I would say but a little bit deeper and I think it's perfect for fall. The formula is really nice. It's kind of a curly formula to let that shimmer shine through a little bit so it's going to be opaque in two coats. You might want to do three thinner quotes too. You can do that. Um, but this one is so pretty and hopefully that video I have up and the picture will do it justice, but it's just so cool, even though it's kind of a mauve leaning brown. Then we have Easily Suede, which is the lightest brown that I have and it is beautiful. It's neutral brown. It's kind of just a tan, but it's definitely a little bit cooler, which I prefer. In fact, most of these polishes in here are a little bit cooler and I love these different color tones of brown. This one does lean a little bit gray just because it is cooler and it is beautiful. This is from the Essie Fall 2019 Country Retreat Collection. So it's been around for a little while and it's been one of my favorites ever since it came out. Haven't worn it in a while and I definitely need to pull it out soon. Do you guys have this polish? If you guys have any of these polishes and you love them, tell me down below because I want to know. And then we have Slay It from the Essie's Winter 2020 collection and this is such an interesting brown shade and that's why I love it because it is brown but it also has some green in it and a little bit of yellow so it's a little bit different it's almost like a khaki brown that's the reason I love it is because it's so unusual and different from any of the other polishes that I have in this kind of brown category and so this one's so fun and the formula is just so creamy and so fantastic and it's so fun to apply Then I just put up a review of the Olive and June Quick Dry Polish line for Fall Winter 2023 this year. And there were 12 polishes in there. This is one of my favorites from that collection. It's a really light, mousy brown, and I love mousy brown, so it's a little bit grayed out, a little bit muted. And what I like about this one is it's a little bit crelly, and so it's gonna build up nicely still in two coats, but it's gonna give you that nice, glossy, squishy look. And I just love it and can't wait to wear this one too. There's so many browns, so I'm not gonna be able to get to them all. 
Then these next three or four were really hard because they all are pretty close, but they are a little different and I'll talk about it. I'm getting distracted. I don't know what to start with first. I think I'm gonna start with this one. Yes, this is the perfect one to start with. This is You Don't Know Jacques, and am I saying that right? I know, I've never looked it up and that's just how I say it and I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, uh, which I don't care about. Correct me, I'm, I'm not right a lot of the time. But this one has been around for such a long time. This is from the France collection in 2008. And I love this one because it's a little bit gray. I love that it's a little bit dusty gray. And this has been a cult favorite for a really long time. It was really popular about, I don't know, 10 years ago, but it's still one of my favorites too. I just really haven't worn it in a while, but I have to talk about it because it's a favorite of a lot of people's. It's perfect for this time of year. If you see brown on my nail, it's just because my little sheet here was wet and I touched my finger to it. So it's not, it's not poop on my finger, I promise. It's no posh, see that little smudge? <laughs> oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I don't know how long that's been there, but hopefully you guys didn't see it. These are different, even though they look alike in the bottle and I'm gonna show them and talk about them. So this is Squeaker of the House. This is from the Washington DC collection that came out in 2016. Yep, yeah, this one's a little bit warmer. So while you don't know Jacques is gray, this one is a little bit warmer, even though it's still cool. This Squeaker of the House is really interesting too, because when I compared it next to another brown that came out, I can't remember what brown it was recently, but I was surprised that it had a little hint of green in it too. So I do like that this one is a little bit different. Just my favorite mousy brown. And now that we have Fawn, this is another one of my favorite browns because this one's a little bit lighter than this one. So I like them both. And the formula in this one is really fantastic too. I love how all these build up in two nice coats. OPI does such a great job with browns. You're gonna see a lot of OPI browns in here. And there's another one from this collection too that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. The Washington DC collection was really fantastic. I think I have a review of that one. Any collection reviews that I have for any of these polishes that I'll mention, I will link down below so that you guys have that as a reference to look at the collections too because some of those older collections are really fantastic and you might want other polishes from them. So now we're getting into the really warm browns. While Squeaker of the House was a touch warmer than those other ones, it's still a little bit cool leaning. So we're going to some that are warmer. So we're gonna talk about this one. This is from the Unguilty Pleasures collection that came out at the beginning of this year. So like January, 2023, it is a beautiful one. I recently used this polish to demonstrate how I get chocolate donut nails from regular polish. And I did a reel on that on Instagram. I'll put a little clip of that or just the picture of that Manny and this is the perfect color for that. I love this. It's a perfect chocolatey brown and it's really opaque. It's pretty much opaque in one coat. I do too, but it is just beautiful. I love it. It's warm. It makes you think of hot chocolate and fall and being cozy and all those wonderful things. And so I think you guys will like this if you don't already have it. Then we have this one from the Wonka collection that is just coming out for this holiday for 2023. I have not reviewed this collection yet. It's the next one to review, but I already know I'm gonna like it. And I don't know the name of it. I'll put it on the screen because it doesn't have the little sticker on it. And I haven't even looked at these, but I did open this one and try it out. And I was like, oh, I kind of expected it to smell like chocolate because the package they sent me <laughs> smelled like chocolate, but it doesn't. It doesn't smell like anything, but I kind of wanted it to. But this is a beautiful, chocolatey color. It is a little bit more muted and grayed out, especially when compared to No To Do, which is a little bit more rich and you'll see that here. But I like it because it's a little bit different. So it's a little bit gray, a little bit muted, a little bit softer, a little bit warm, cozy, and makes you think of chocolate. So I think this one's perfect and I love that it came out. So look for further details about this one in my next review coming up for this new China Glaze Wonka collection.
Then this is Orly Don't Be Suspicious and this came out from their fall plot twist collection that was just this year, 2023, and that was my favorite fall collection out of all the fall collections, so you need to check out my review of that. And this one is so beautiful. I love a good rich warm brown. So I usually go for cooler tones, but when OPI came out with Cliffside Karaoke, that was what kind of converted me to the warmer browns. I still like that one too. That's a really great one. If you have that one, pull it out and wear it. If you don't get this one, if you don't have any, because I just, I don't know if it's just because it's new or the formula is better but I just like it a little bit better and so I didn't put that one in from OPI but that one is a good one too there's a couple browns they have that are good there's another one I'll try to put on the screen and I had a hard time not including all of them but out of all of them honestly this is really my favorite one I like it now we're gonna talk about hot toddy naughty and this is from the OPI holiday collection the terribly nice collection that came out just this winter and it is beautiful I love that they came out with a new shimmery brown. I used to love Warm Me Up. That was my favorite for a long time. It's like the only polish I had that was like that, that I absolutely loved for years. And so I'm glad they came out with this one. And compared to this one, Warm Me Up has a little bit of green in it, a little bit of green undertones, and this one's a little bit more cooler. So I like this one more. So I like that they upgraded this polish. It's one of my favorites and I can't wait to wear it. If you don't want to mess with doing a chocolate glazed donut nail where you add chrome powder, just wear one of these shimmery browns and this one's perfect because while it doesn't have exactly the same effect it's kind of the same idea and it's a lot easier so this is a good one to pick up hot toddy naughty <laughs> I can't remember what I'm wearing my nails okay I think it's this one. Oh my gosh I'm crazy no what <laughs> I really can't remember what I'm wearing oh dear I think it's this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me just do something. Let me just do this. Okay, you guys, that was so weird. <laughs> These all look exactly the same in the bottle, but they're not. They're not the same. And so I kind of forgot which one I had on my nails, but I think I have it figured out. <laughs> such an idiot. Okay, so this is the one I have on my nails. This is chronological order. So this one does have some purple undertones in it and it's beautiful. So it's a little bit smoky. It's a little plum leaning. In fact, in here, you're probably going to think it's like a smoky purple. So that's why I love this one because it's a little bit smoky purple, but it does lean more brown because when you look at it, you're like, oh, that's a brown polish. But then sometimes it can look purple. So I love that about polishes when they change a little bit like that and keep you guessing. And so I like this one quite a bit. This is also from from the Iceland Winter 2017 collection. So there was two browns in that collection, this one and that's what friends are Thor, and they're both great. This is the cooler tone of those. And the formula is fantastic. It's really glossy and beautiful and probably one of my favorites. We'll see. I'm going to try to pick favorites at the end, maybe my top five. See if I can do it. Then we have that's what friends are Thor, and even though on the bottle these all look alike, this one is a touch darker than those other ones, and it's more of like a chocolatey brown, but it is still a little bit cool tone, so it's going to be a little bit cooler than squeaker of the house this one is nice and rich as it gets colder I like to wear these kind of darker richer browns this one is from the Iceland 2017 collection so it's been around for a while too a beauty Next one is How Great of Your Dane, and this was my favorite for a long, 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 long time because it was like the deepest, darkest one that they had for a while. Yes, it was. This one is definitely more brown. It has a little bit of gray. It's a little bit muted, but it doesn't have like the smoky purple that Chronological Order does, and so that's what sets them apart, and maybe I'll do comparisons, but just in case I don't, here is the difference here. This one is How Great is Your Dane, and this one is Chronological Order, so hopefully you can see that little bit of smoke smokiness, a little bit of purple in this one. Both are fantastic though, but this is my favorite for a long time, like I said, because it was the darkest one, but now we have some darker ones, and I probably like them a little bit more than this one, but this has been my favorite for a long time, so I had to include it. So going a little bit darker and a little bit richer is brown to earth, and this is beautiful, you guys. The formula is fantastic. It's pretty much opaque in one coat, but I always like to do two. Haven't worn this in a bit, but this is kind of newer. It's from the Fall Wonders 2022 collection, so I was so excited when they came out with this one because it isn't as dark as my favorite dark dark brown um, and so it's a little bit different and this one is a little bit grayed out as well and it does have a touch of purple so that's how it's set apart from chronological order it's a little bit deeper than that one but they're 
pretty much kind of the same color tone. Yep, this is just a little darker. So love those two. And then as you can see, compared to uh, How Great Is Your Dane, this one is a little bit richer and a little smokier. So this one's beautiful and glossy. If you're gonna start with a dark one, this is a good one. And I think it's gonna be easy to find. In fact, all of these are pretty easy to find, but this is a good one. And then we have one of my all-time favorites. Shh, it's top secret. No, the polish isn't top secret, guys. That's the name. That's the name of the polish. Shh, it's top secret. So anyway, I love this dark, deep, rich brown. It almost looks black on the nails, and it's so fun. I love polishes like that. People think they're black, but you know they're brown. You're just fooling everybody, <laughs> but you know it's brown. So anyway, this one's so pretty, and it pretty much is, yeah, it's so dark. It's hard to tell if it's like smoky purple or a little bit grayed out, but I love this one. It's dark, it's deep, it's rich, and in any color tone that I find, that I like. I always pick like the deepest, richest of that color. It's just fun. I just like these darker colors, especially in fall and winter. After we've gone through all the brights of summer, it's time for some dark, cozy shades. Let's pick my favorites. It's gonna be tough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I cannot do this. You guys, okay. Okay, yeah. There's so many good ones. Okay, these are my top seven. <laughs> but I think this will be helpful. I think it will. Man, but I still, oh, dang. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. So these are my top eight. Should I list them on the screen? No, let's name them. Let's name them. Lightest to darkest. Transition piece, of course. Squeaker of the house, of course. Favorite for such a long time. Favorite mousy brown. And then no to do, perfect brown. Don't be suspicious, perfect warm brown. And then a gray smoky brown, chronological order, what I have on my nails. This shimmery brown, hot toddy naughty. Yes, I feel good about this now that I'm saying them. Brown to earth. I feel like I narrowed it down pretty good. So you guys can tell how much I love brown polish. It is just my favorite and I hope you guys will like it too. I hope it makes you feel cozy this fall and winter. As you leave this video, please hit the like button and let me know what color you want me to do next for my favorites because I'm ready to get into something else. Maybe I should do red or something now that the holidays are coming. Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye.